Oh, the flashlight almost gave me an epilepsy attack. Mm, mm, kitty, sorry. Mm, what epilepsy? That's a very good question, little kitty. So in today's episode, let me answer this critical question. What is epilepsy? Zoom in! Our brains are made of billions of tiny cells that communicate by exchanging chemicals with each other. This flow of chemicals generates electrical signals that travel along nerves to the rest of the body so you can do your normal activities of day-to-day -day life. But sometimes, there is a sudden burst of electrical activity that causes a temporary communication problem among nerve cells, causing seizures that disrupts normal body functions for a while. So, to keep it simple, epilepsy is a condition in which people get seizures. What happens during an epileptic seizure varies from person to person. Some may feel strong reactions where they pass out and fall on the floor as their whole body gets stiff and twitches uncontrollably, while other seizures are less noticeable in which a person might just stare into space or have jerking movements in one part of the body. But the critical question is, what leads to these epileptic seizures? Well, scientists are yet to find the exact answer to this issue. But there are certain things that can lead to it which include problems with the way the brain developed before birth, a brain injury or tumor bleeding in the brain, or certain brain infections such as meningitis and encephalitis. I know what you are thinking. That is, what must you do if you see someone having an epilepsy episode? First of all, there are things that you should never do. This includes never holding the person down, never putting anything in their mouth or performing CPR. Instead, if possible, try catching the person from falling to protect their head. Next, gently lower them down and keep them on their side to keep airways open. And finally, call an adult or better medical help and stay with the person until they arrive. Once the patient is with the doctor, they may perform a few tests and give some medicines or prescribe a special kind of diet such as a ketogenic that can help reduce the number of episodes. Or, with the right treatment, over 70% of people with epilepsy may stop having seizures completely. But as they say, prevention is better than cure. So, if someone is suffering from this condition, they need to avoid things that could trigger a seizure episode. One of the things to avoid is exposure to flashlights or watching loud, vibrant scenes on screens. Fortunately, these are not common triggers and very few people can suffer seizures due to lights. On the other hand, the common triggers may include lack of sleep, stress, having a high temperature or too many alcoholic beverages, on top of that, people with epilepsy need to be extra careful while performing intense physical activities like swimming or boxing. However, the best part is, with proper management, people with epilepsy can live a normal life and achieve great success in anything they want to. Trivia time! Did you know around 50 million people worldwide have epilepsy? Making it one of the most common neurological diseases globally. And you won't believe, but epilepsy has no identifiable cause 
in about half the people with the condition. Hope you learned something critically important today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out.